Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of City of Broken Dreamers. It has been uh, a few days since we've uh, played this game, but we're going to get back into it and see what's in store in this episode. We are back at Baynard Industries, up where Meredith works, it looks like. And we... Oh, look, it's Victoria. So let's see what's going to happen here. I'm assuming Victoria is with Meredith. Hope, can you verify that Miss White is not in the building? That is correct. Hmm, strange. Where is she? Still, that does give me a chance to check on something. Something Kyle said bothered me. Victoria moves towards Meredith's desk. Am I logged in, Hope? Yes, miss. Running silent. Good. Where is Miss White now? Unknown. She is not on the grid. At all? That is correct. What was her last location? Classified. Why is it classified? I can't access that. That was rhetorical. Hope, log me into Baynard's operation archives. Passphrase required. We are not interested in the possibilities of defeat. They do not exist. Logged in. That was a passphrase, okay. A whole uh, actual passphrase, okay, makes sense. Not a password, but a passphrase. Does uh, Victoria know that shirt's not really doing the job? She probably does. She doesn't care. Show me all the logs of the flights leaving in the past 24 hours. Hmm, a U.S. Navy transport from last night. Hope, where was this headed? Unknown. Where did you go? Very well. Hope, access, and copy any information on Caracas in the last five years. Classified. Of course. Run program. Victoria's concentration is broken when she hears footsteps approaching the door. Log me out now. Ugh. What a night. Ma'am? There you are. Victoria, what are you doing here? I was attempting to locate you, ma'am. Your locator beacon was off. Ah, <sighs> just give me a minute. You appear to have had a difficult night, Miss White. You have no idea, Miss Shields. Now, what was so important that you were on my computer? Vostok is on the move again with Agent Burns. It's handled, Victoria. With all due respect, ma'am, Vostok has acquired at least half a dozen agent ghosts, including Sonya Burns. Sonya, eh? Shame. I really liked her. Ma'am? It's of no consequence. As I mentioned, it's handled. We have no other agents who can activate. None of consequence, that is. We do, actually. Who? Hope has just been forwarded his comm information. You will be running the operation as before. Meredith, I can't be effective if I'm in the dark. Just follow your orders and I would watch that tone, Miss Shields. I apologize, it's just... Sit down, please. Despite what others think, you're still human. We all make mistakes, dear. I simply expect less of them from you. I apologize. With Agent Burns' history, it was always a risk, though I still have faith he will come to his senses. This new asset is simply backup. I understand. Again, my apologies. No more apologies. You won't need them. I know you will succeed. Besides, how can someone resist you? And you know, these you wear well. You should think about wearing them far more often. That look suits you, by the way. Classic and elegant. Thank you. Of course. Now, if you don't mind, have Hope send the details of the Vostik team to our new agent. I will. Get some rest, ma'am. Alright, we're back over here with Kyle and the gang. Blonde again? Alright, some fresh air might help clear your head. Let you relax a bit. 
A few conditions, though. Like, don't talk to anyone, don't make eye contact with anyone, and for the love of God, no showing off. You want me to wear a burqa too? Unless people can see me. I'm serious. I understand, but remember, I've been on my own since I was 16 and off the grid for most of it. Plus, this. I don't know if I'll ever get used to that. I don't know, it's kind of cool though, right? Kind of, yeah. Okay, very. See, who says you're a curmudgeon? Off the top of my head, um, Ellen, Doc, Sonia, most of my clients. Well, they're right, but thanks for this anyway. Ah, okay, perfect day, flat out. The, s the real sun, no dust storms either. You gotta love this, right? A bit, but you are standing out a bit here. Remember what I said. Now, what do you want to eat? Oh, anything but cereal. So over it. Oh, and no coffee. But I could murder some brunch right now. Fucking brunch? God, I hate that. <laughs> what? How can you hate brunch? That doesn't even make sense. It's like the best meal of the day. Brunch is the worst. You know why I hate brunch? Because you're a curmudgeon? But no, why do you hate brunch? Hipsters love brunch. Always posting pics of their meals on the net as if their meals are special or something. Damn it, you're right. Hipsters do like brunch. Judgmental, pretentious. I can't stand them. Not to mention their fake sympathy just to get attention. Exactly. That's why they have brunch. Shit, but you know what? Hipsters ruin coffee for me, but they aren't ruining brunch. Screw hipsters, but they can't have the best meal. Well, I tried. <laughs> Still the oddest argument ever. I think if you hate brunch, you just haven't had a good one. No way. Come on, you, me, and Ellen are totally gonna have brunch. You think Ellen is a brunch person? She's awesome, so yeah. Fine, you win. How about some noodles for lunch? No, it's brunch, but it'll do. Well, look at it this way. No hipsters. Exactly. Hello? Oh, uh, oh. Well, order? Gloria, how much do you think Henry needs? No idea. Maybe three? Okay, six of your specials to go. And now for a special bulletin from Los Angeles News with your host, Shanlin Russell. Oh, great. What do you mean we're live, you idiot? Oh, good morning, Los Angeles. In our first story, I have an update on the wanted fugitive, Gloria Connor. Lan has just gotten word that two law enforcement contractors were hospitalized last night in an attempt to apprehend her. Officials again warn that Miss Connor is highly dangerous, and if you see her, contact the LAPD immediately. Do not try to apprehend. With me now is Gloria's father, famed recording producer Alexis Connor. If you could say one thing to your daughter right now, what would it be? Gloria, honey, I don't know what you've gotten yourself into, but people are scared. If your mother were still with us, she would want you to come home. I don't know the whole story, but I have the best lawyers in the world ready to help you through this. I'm sure it's all a misunderstanding. I still don't know why you ran away, but I haven't changed your room one bit. Touching, is there anything else? Just said I miss you, Gloria. Know that your papa loves you. Thank you, Mr. Connor. Now that that's taken care of, yesterday five police officers were injured in the protest just north of Milltown. Gloria, are you okay? That can't have been easy. It's fine. God, I hate that woman. Eh, Katie's not a fan either. Why am I not surprised? Katie is like the bizarro Shanlin. Or is it the other way around? Order's ready. Come on, let's get back. Probably taking too big a risk as is. 
We should get back inside. Yeah. Hey, Kyle. What? Do you think Papa... Never mind. I mean, do you really think we'll get through this? I wish I could tell you. I just don't know. <laughs> You're not filling me with confidence here. Thankfully, I have enough for both of us. <laughs> Come on, let's get back. Damn, she looks hungry. How can we still have so many homeless? Hey kid, here. It's not much, but it's good. Um, thanks. You're welcome. Feel better? Yeah, it's weird sometimes. I don't know if I do things like that to make them feel better or myself. Does it matter? Sure it does. Like if we do everything for selfish reasons? I think we do what we can when we can. Huh? I don't know. I see people like Ellen and Henry, and I think that good has to exist, right? You're asking the wrong guy. Oh, well, that was nice of her. Yeah, she was a nice lady. She looks like the famous one. Oh dear. The girl on the big screen's everywhere. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. She's been made, I think. I think they're gonna go get some reward money, probably. You're not mad at me? For breaking your rules? No, I'm not mad. But you do need to be more careful. Just try not to do that in the future. Yeah, sorry. No problem. Go bug Ellen. I'll see if I can find Henry and let him know we got some grub. Alright, let's see what that big guy is up to. And hopefully he didn't go from EMPs to frags. There you are. I was looking all over for you. I figured the girls could use some alone time. Don't need me looming over everything. Just nice to see you're happy again. Relatively, I suppose. So, what brings you down here, ghost? Just checking up on you. I'm doing alright. Just trying to lay down a defense. Any luck? Not much. Three ways in. Decent amount of traffic, especially here in the tram tunnels. Hard to keep a proper eye. Sorry if I came off harsh last night. Don't worry about it. Well, did you learn anything? No, but... But what? Met an agent from Baynard. Yes, that Baynard. Are you crazy? What if they tracked you back here? This is what I do. I'm not some amateur. Keep your cool. I think she can help us. She? Well, she is one of them. How can you trust her? I can't, but she's in the dark on this. I think if she found out why, she may become an asset rather than a liability. Sounds like a stretch. I hope you know what you're doing. <laughs> so do I. Look, we grabbed some food. Head up when you get hungry. Thanks. Just give me a bit. Just remember, Ghost, most people in this world are wolves. Don't trust them. Hey, that's why I got you. Wolves are scared of bears, aren't they? For their sake, I hope so.